the United States since 1979 has applied various economic, trade, scientific and military sanctions against Iran. U.S. economic sanctions are administered by the Office of Foreign Assets Control. Currently, the U.S. sanctions against Iran include an embargo on dealings with the country by the U.S. and a ban on selling aircraft and repair parts to Iranian aviation companies. The United States has imposed sanctions against Iran in response to the Iranian nuclear program and Iranian support for Hezbollah, Hamas, and Palestine Islamic Jihad that are considered terrorist organizations by the U.S. Iranian support for the Shiite militias in Iraq and the Houthis in the Yemen civil war are also in contention. U.S. sanctions can be imposed under the National Emergencies Act. Declarations under NAR and IEEPA must be renewed annually to remain in effect. Another sanctions law is the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act of 2017. On 17 May 2018 the European Commission announced its intention to implement the blocking statute of 1996 to declare the US sanctions against Iran null and void in Europe and ban European citizens and companies from complying with them. The Commission also instructed the European Investment Bank to facilitate European companies' investment in Iran. In September 2020 the United States said in a statement that it imposed sanctions on Judge Sayyid Mahmoud Sadati, Judge Muhammad Soltani, Branch 1 of the Revolutionary Court of Shiraz, and Adelabad, Orumiya, and Wakilabad prisons. Elliot Abrams said, the sanctions targeted a judge who sentenced Iranian wrestler Naveed Afkari to death. United States sanctions were imposed against Iran by President Carter in November 1979 after radical students seized the U.S. Embassy in Tehran and took hostages after the U.S. permitted the exiled Shah of Iran to enter the United States for medical treatment. Executive Order 12170 froze about US$8.1 billion United States dollars in Iranian assets, including bank deposits, gold and other properties. It also imposed a trade embargo. The sanctions were lifted in January 1981 as part of the Algiers Accords, which was a negotiated settlement of the hostages' release. Iraq invaded Iran in 1980, starting the Iran-Iraq War, which lasted to 1988. In 1984, the U.S. imposed an arms embargo on both Iran and Iraq and seized all U.S. assistance. An embargo on Iranian goods and services was imposed in 1987 in response to Iran's actions from 1981 to 1987 against the U.S. and other vessels in the Persian Gulf and because of Iran's support for terrorism. Some of the toughest sanctions against Iran were imposed during the presidency of Akbar Hashmi Rafsanjani in response to the Iranian nuclear program and Iranian support for Hezbollah, Hamas, and Palestine Islamic Jihad that are considered terrorist organizations by the U.S. President Clinton in March 1995 issued Executive Order 12957 to prohibit U.S. trade in Iran's oil industry, and in May 1995 issued Executive Order 12959 to prohibit all U.S. trade with Iran. Trade with the United States, which had been growing since the end of the Iran-Iraq war, ended abruptly. The Iran and Libya Sanctions Act was signed on 5 August 1996. ILSA was renamed in 2006 the Iran Sanctions Act when the sanctions against Libya were terminated. ISA was extended for a further 10 years on December 1, 2016. ISA targets both U.S. and non-U.S. businesses that make investments over $20 million in Iran for the development of petroleum resources in Iran. They face having imposed against them two out of seven possible penalties by the U.S. After the election of Iranian reformist President Mohammad Khatami in 1997, President Clinton eased sanctions on Iran. In 2000 the sanctions for some items like pharmaceuticals, medical equipment, caviar and Persian rugs were reduced. In February 2004, during the final year of Khatami's presidency, the U.S. Department of the Treasury ruled against editing or publishing scientific manuscripts from Iran, and stated that U.S. scientists collaborating with Iranians could be prosecuted.
In response, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers temporarily stopped editing manuscripts from Iranian researchers and took steps to clarify the OFAC guidelines concerning its publishing and editing activities. In April 2004 IEEE received a response from OFAC which fully resolved that no licenses were needed for publishing works from Iran and that the entire IEEE publication process including peer review and editing was exempt from restrictions. On the other hand, the American Institute of Physics, the American Physical Society and the American Association for the Advancement of Science, which publishes science, refused to comply, saying that the prohibition on publishing goes against freedom of speech. After being elected president in 2005, President Ahmadinejad lifted the suspension of uranium enrichment that had been agreed with the EU3 and the International Atomic Energy Agency reported Iran.